Hey guys, this is the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today we're going to be talking about the new gingerbread leak. It has been rooted. Uh, thank you so much to P3 Droid and the team, Black Hat team. Uh, they've provided us with the leak gingerbread and have also rooted it. Uh, so I have, before we get started, I just want to kind of go over some things. If you're coming from stock, then of course you'll need to root your phone and install Kush's bootstrap. And then you should be able just to uh, flash over the gingerbread file uh, from recovery. Uh, you may have to wipe your data uh, before you flash it. And I'll show you how, how to do that here in just a minute. If you're coming from a ROM, then you should be able to flash this like any other ROM. Now if you're coming from the previous a gingerbread leak that does not have the root, then you will have to SBF your phone back to stock and do a factory reset uh, through the stock recovery. Uh, but I'm coming directly from a ROM. I figured I'd wait a day, a day and a half for root because I knew that uh, Team Black Hat would be able to pull it off. So what I'm going to show you is how to install the leaked gingerbread with root. Uh, from coming from Apex 1.4. Now you can do this the same way coming from any ROM and like I said before if you've already uh, jumped the gun and installed the leak gingerbread that did not include root you will have to SPF your phone. It's an easy process. Uh, you can go to my channel and you'll find a how-to video on how to do that. So in the description you'll see I have a link to all the files that you'll need. Uh, you're gonna need like I said, a rooted phone, you'll need Kush's bootstrap, and you're going to need the Droid X gingerbread leaked update. Okay, so from your phone, what you'll want to do is go ahead and open up Kush's bootstrap. And this is really simple, it's going to be just like flashing any other ROM. So if you know how to flash a ROM, you'll know how to do this. Click Bootstrap Recovery and click OK on Success and then Reboot Recovery. And as soon as it comes up, we're going to wipe our data and get rid of all this stuff from Liberty. We'll go from a clean slate here. So <clears throat> go down to Wipe Data Factory Reset. The way we're navigating through this menu is volume up and down to scroll, camera to select, and the back button to go back. So you want to select Wipe Data Factory Reset and go to yes delete all user data <clears throat> and let that run through and do its thing okay and then I like to go down to advanced also another thing that I would like to suggest before you do this is to go ahead and make an Android backup of your phone in case you don't like gingerbread you can always flash back to an Android um, and also I would suggest downloading um, there's an application where you can you can restore all of your applications and it is called titanium backup so get titanium backup make sure you back up all of your uh, applications so I've gone into advanced now I'm gonna select wipe Dalvik cache and go down there and wipe that as well we're just gonna make it as clean of a slate as possible okay and so go back after that's finished and go to apply SD card update actually I'm sorry do not choose that go down to install zip from SD card select that choose zip from SD card and you'll go down and find that file dxgb update dot zip and I would suggest that you download that file to your computer and then transfer it over to your phone. It's 178 megabits, so it would take quite a while over 3G. <coughs> and, okay, dxgbrooted.zip is the name of the zip. Go ahead and select that. 
go down to yes install dxgb rooted dot zip <coughs> Now after this goes through its process, it's going to reboot your phone, and uh, they've been saying that it appears that your phone is in a boot loop. So you'll have to sit there and watch that Motorola logo. They say if it takes longer than five minutes, all you have to do is pull your battery and restart. Uh, we're going to go through the whole process here. We may have to edit some of this out if it takes too long. Okay, so that took us about five minutes. Didn't take long at all. And whenever you finish, you'll come to this screen and it'll say install from SD card complete. So you'll hit the back button and select reboot system now and we'll see how long it actually boot loops for before it comes up. They said don't panic because it could take up to five minutes. You see there's something different there. There's the red Motorola logo. Obviously in the past it had been blue. And there's the boot animation. That's familiar. And normally whenever you flash a new ROM, it generally does take a few minutes to boot all the way up because it has to guess it has to get all of its bearings and uh, get all its files aligned and then eventually you'll feel it rumble and it'll boot up but it generally does take a few minutes on the first boot. Now, uh, one other thing with this leaked gingerbread uh, with root is that if you want to get back to clockwork, you will have to go to the market and buy uh, Kusha's D2 bootstrap, which is different from the DX bootstrap. You cannot use that in this version. You will have to use the D2 bootstrap. Um, it'll work the same. It's just a different application. So there it goes. It rumbled. So it should open any second. And here we are. We're at Gingerbread. Um, so you see it's very simple. And like I said, if you were one of the ones that jumped the gun and downloaded it the other day without root, you'll just have to SBF, go to my channel, check that out for all the files, go down to the description and click on the link, and make sure you visit my website, droidmoderx.wordpress.com for news and all the information on how to modify your phone. Thanks, guys.